everyone. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all are having a blessed day on today. Today, y'all, we're going to make the kids something, y'all. I um, had some roast beef here. Let me move this. I'm going to let y'all see this roast beef that I purchased um, at Sam's. And so, I said, um, I don't think the kids will like it just like that on a sandwich. So, I decided to kind of spice it up and make them some sliders, y'all. So, I wanted to share this with you all how I make my sliders. Okay, our only ingredients are the roast beef. I have some finely chopped onions and bell peppers, some melted butter. I got some provolone cheese and some Hawaiian butter rolls, okay? And I, I, I and that's it, y'all. That's, that's, these are the only ingredients that I'm going to use. And I know my um, kids, my grandkids are going to enjoy these. And y'all, the uh, beef, I'm going to season, season up the beef. Even though it said it's seasoned, I'm going to put, I'm not going to put any salt in it, but I'm going to put a couple of extra seasons in it, okay? Two or three extra se seasonings. Let's get to making our Philly beef and cheese sliders. Okay, as y'all can see here, I have a, let me turn this down a little bit. Let me turn this down just a little bit. Y'all can see it's smoking. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And what I'm going to do, I have some butter. I'm going to put a little butter in here in this pan. I got some some small diced onions. I'm going to make these small because um, the reason why I made them small, let me say it like that, is because of the kids. You know the kids, they love vegetables in their own way and so I'm not going to put a whole lot of these onions and bell peppers in here on their uh, sliders. Okay, like I said, I'm not putting a, a lot of onions and bell peppers on my grandkids sliders and okay another thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my meat in here I'm gonna go ahead and put my mix my meat with the bell peppers and onion I want, want it to have a flavor to it I want this meat to have flavor so that's why I decided to do it this way I know they will enjoy their sliders. Okay. If y'all want to take these to parties, you can take these to parties and let your family and friends enjoy them. Now I'm going to add a little garlic powder. Just a little, little garlic powder. And a little onion powder. And some black pepper. You know kids love flavor too y'all. They love flavor. If it doesn't taste good, they will not eat it. <laughs> I guarantee you that. You're going to keep tossing this around. Make sure you get all the good flavor in it. Let me taste it. You know, you always taste your food to make sure it is tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I said, we don't need salt because it's already seasoned. Okay. I'll turn this off. And I'm going to remove this from this skillet and I'm going to be right back. Okay, here. I'm removing my rolls from the package. I'm 
Now I have one of these bread cutting knives. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these from side to side. Got to be very careful at the end. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to move that to the side and I'm going to get my pan back. My electric skillet. You see, I'm using my electric skillet. I forgot to tell y'all that. I am using my electric skillet. Let me bring it up some more so y'all can see down off in there. Okay. I did not remove the the butter and the flavor that um, that that was at the bottom. I'm going to add a little bit more butter down there. Let me mix this up. This is real butter. Let me turn my skillet back on. Okay. It's back on. I'm going to add some more butter. See it to it. I got it like in between the 350 and 375. Okay. I'm going to use my bottom part of my uh, bread. Like this. I'm going to flip it over. Like that. Because I'm going to let that brown in the skillet. We're going to let this brown. Just keep checking. Checking on it. We're going to let this brown. And I'm going to be right back. Okay, let me check my the bottom. I think it's brown. Let me see. should be brown by now. Yeah. We want it to brown. Okay, I'm going to turn this heat down a little bit it down just a little bit. Oh, I think I got it on 250 now. I'm going to put a little extra butter. It's up to you the way you want to do yours. Like I say, kids, they love flavor too. And if you want to, on this step, you can add a little mayo. Let me turn this. I'm going to turn this completely off. Okay, you can add a little, a little mayo. I decided to go ahead and add a little mayo to it. It's up to you. You don't have to do it. This is what I decided to do. I know my grandkids are going to enjoy these sliders. Okay, can y'all see? Now I'm going to add the meat. We're going to add the meat. This meat smells so good, y'all. It smells absolutely good. Now I'm going to add my cheese. I got enough for two of these uh, Hawaiian rolls. Okay. Okay, I'm going to set this up here so I can show y'all what I'm doing. Okay, this is my, my uh, top. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little butter on here. Just dab a little butter. That's a little butter. Okay. I'm going to set it there. Like that. That half. 
And I'm going to set the other half right here. Okay. And you got to be very, very careful with this step that I'm getting ready to do now. I'm going to turn this, flip this over. Because we want the cheese to melt. I'm going to flip this over. Try to get this back on point. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put some foil on top of it. Some foil over this. Some, I want this to... See, I don't want to turn my oven on. So, this is what I'm going to do. Just like this. I'm going to put my lid on it. Let it... I'm going to let it um, just sit for maybe five to ten minutes. Okay, y'all, I have removed it out of the skillet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it. We're going to... Here they are right here. Let's see what y'all want to see. My y'all, my grandkids are ready to eat, and so I just decided to share this, these little sliders with y'all. And I'm gonna say y'all have a blessed day. Okay, y'all, y'all have a blessed day, and bye bye for now.